National Championship. The Florida Gators have won the Southeastern Conference Championship. Gator Zone is presented by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. Welcome into the first Gator Zone of 2019. Gareth Gutierrez alongside Megan Parler. Normally, Jeff Cardozo's here in my place, but he's still ringing in the new year pretty hard. He partied pretty hard. And a team that rang in the new year the right way, it's the guys that play on this field behind us, the football team. That's right, Gareth. They played in a New Year's Six Bowl, the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. And the term usually, Gareth, is to get the monkey off your back. Well, this year, the Gators got the Wolverine off their back. They finally beat Michigan in pretty sweet fashion in the bowl game. So let's take a look back at that great matchup. You've prepared all year for this moment. One last time together as a team. Everything we got, leave it all out there. Enjoy it. You worked hard to get in this game. And go play to that Gator standard, get ourselves a big time win. Fourth and four inches. And the handoff to the fullback on the dive. And Mason surging forward, and he didn't get it. Snap to Patterson. Patterson under a blitz. And down he goes as C.J. Henderson came off the corner. Here's the snap to Franks. And Franks wants to throw the ball. Fires off the left. Got a receiver. It's Van Jefferson with a catch down the left sideline. And he's going to be inside the five-yard line. Here's the snap. The set down. The kick is up. And it is good. Good job of sitting right. back on it. He came back inside. Good job of just waiting for it. Here's the snap down. The kick is up. And it splits the uprights. There's the snap to Franks, and Franks wants to run it. He's got a first down, 15, 10, 5. He leaps into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators! Oh, my! Felipe Franks! Dropping back to throw, and rainbowing the ball deep down the field. It's going to be intercepted. What a play! Gators get the ball off to Tony on the left side as they got a jet sweep for Kadarius Tony. Franks looks the throw and fires the ball underneath the pre line He makes the catch, turns it upfield. He's in! Touchdown! <laughs> Snap to Patterson. Under a blitz. Patterson hit, and down he goes! He sucked at the 20-yard line. He hands it off to Scarlett, up the middle of the field. Scarlett with a nice run. Breaks the tackle. Oh, my! A 30-yard run by Scarlett shedding tacklers along the way. Toss to Scarlett to the right. He'll waltz in. Toss sweep to the right. Touchdown, Gators. Got a wide up receiver and quarantine. A catch to the far side. Deontay Lewis. Whatever we run, we execute at a high level. It'll work. The 30, the 25, the 20, the 50, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. 47 yard run. The Michael P. Run. Tip and intercepted. Chauncey Gardner's got a pick and he's going to go. Florida Gators have won the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. They've come from four wins all the way to ten wins. A ten-win season. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm proud of what you've done as a team, what we've done as a program. And this is just the beginning. Well, Gareth, it was really nice to hear Mick excited, the oh my's flowing, and right before the football team headed to Atlanta, they uh, treated a few Gainesville Elementary schools, a little holiday cheer before the break. That's right, a large number of the football team went out and visited some local elementary schools, got to spend some time with Gainesville's youngest and brightest. <laughs> Which one do you think it is? The Gators football team took some time out of their busy bowl practice schedule in December to spend some time with a few of their biggest fans. Uh, today we just come to elementary school and giving back. Um, that's the least we can do. Um, kids look to us. 
look up to us nowadays, and we're just trying to set a good example for these kids. We're um, coming out here to the school and um, just giving back to the kids, showing them um, that there's a positive um, influence in the community um, and role models they can always look up to. Um, it's amazing to come out here and see these kids so excited just to see our presence um, and the impact we have on these students and kids. So um, it's amazing to come out here and really just be a part of this. So we want to like football. The Gators offense hung out with the students at Idlewild Elementary, while the defense headed to Terwilliger Elementary. After a while, I feel better. The day started out in the classrooms, interacting with the kids and even participating in some of the lessons. And of course, signing autographs and taking some pictures with their new friends. After that, the activities moved outside for some PE to let the kids test their abilities against the Gators and play some games. What you want to be when you grow up? A teacher? Okay. What you gonna teach? Growing up. Second grade. This brought me back to elementary school, man. Playing uh, four corners, and uh, I remember doing that in, uh, when I was in school. So that kind of brought back memories, man. We're coming to elementary school, middle schools, and just showing these kids uh, what this, what the Gator standard is, and by treating people how you want to be treated, and just helping others and sharing um, the knowledge you have to the kids. Um, one of the funniest questions probably for me was, how hard was my first hit? And I told him, um, the first time I got hit, my helmet got knocked off. I didn't mean to scare him, but he got kind of scared. And after that, I told him, um, you'll get used to hitting. And he really bought into it. And now he's talking about he wants to play football for the remainder of his life and looks up to me and all this stuff. So it was just amazing to, to really see the uh, impact my voice has on kids. In addition to reliving the glory days of elementary school. I wish I could be in elementary school, you know, uh, man, I just remember my time in school and how fun it was. The players got to inspire the next generation of Gator greats. By showing the Gator standard, um, we just showing these, these kids a good time, you know, um, showing them what it's like to be respectful um, and to show them like what it's like just to have fun. Man. That's what it's all about. It's a good feeling, you know, uh, make a positive impact on the community. Um, the kids, are, they seem excited to see us, you know, so it's good to be able to rub off on them a little bit. And even though the day was all about the elementary school students, the Gator players got just as much from the experience. Obviously, they were kids one day and had to have some aspirations and dreams and people to kind of show them that they can, they can do it also. So for them to get back in, in the classroom and be able to do that is a big deal. And as you can see, all of us were having fun out here. Uh, me and Van just had a dunk off. Uh, under the little hoop to see who could dunk on who and and all the kids were watching and it was just fun to see um, the kids look up to us and as you see everyone here is having fun we're all smiling no no hard feelings and um, we're just having a great time out here it's, it's lovely for the young students it was a chance to interact with their heroes and for the players a chance to make a few new lifelong Gator fans for Gator Zone I'm Joe Froza Thank you, Joe. Great to see the football team giving back to the community. And they weren't the only ones that got to hang out with some of the Gainesville youngsters this past December. That's right, Gareth. But you guys are going to have to wait until after our first break. We'll see you guys right after it. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Welcome back to Gator Zone. Before the break, we told you we were going to tell you more about Gator athletes giving back to the community. Well, the football team, the men's basketball team, swimming and diving, soccer, and so many more got to participate in the yearly Gator Tracks. That's right, Gareth. Those student athletes work with the Hawkins Center and through the months of November and December, collect those shoes, then wrap them and deliver them. Here's Marshall with more. Thanks to Gator student athletes, kids all around Alachua County will ring in 2019 with some stylish new shoes. Hey everyone, we're student athletes from the University of Florida and we're here with Gator Tracks to give you guys some presents today. For the 17th straight year, the UAA and student athletes participated in a special event known as Gator Tracks. The program provides shoes and socks for students throughout Alachua County schools. Coordinated by the Student Athlete Enhancement Program at the Otis Hawkins Center, shoes and socks are purchased by donated money, then wrapped and hand-delivered to young children. This is something we do every year, so it's super exciting. It's something a lot of the athletes really like look forward to, because we just love 
reaching out to the community and kind of being involved and this is a great opportunity for us to do so. Um, this is one of my favorite events we do all year and I've done two different sessions of it and it's amazing. I just love seeing the kids smiles. I love being able to come and do this in our free time and um, help the community and give back. I mean, we were given so much and it's really nice to be able to give back to the community. Yeah, we're given like a special opportunity to just be at the University of Florida and it's nice to like give back and appreciate everyone that maybe got us here and yeah, maybe who's not as fortunate as we are. Um, it feels great. I'm so glad I could take time and come out here. Um, I know all the kids enjoy talking to us, so I'm just glad I could come out here and give back a little bit. Just seeing the smiles on all the kids' faces, I know they're all happy to get their shoes, so I didn't really see anyone upset about it. Excited screams and laughter can be heard echoing throughout the hallways as the children unwrap their new gifts. Seen as a way to connect with the community, nothing is more rewarding than the smiles and joy these gifts bring to the children. Amazing, and they have such a good time, and it just really warms your heart. Yeah, it's awesome to see how grateful every single one of these kids are and the smile in their faces when they shake the box and open it. It's really great to see. Yeah, you're going to wear them the rest of the day? I like the green that's on. Yeah, I love these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, it felt pretty good, you know, like handing the kids their shoes and then like the first impression to open the box, like uh, a lot of kids are very enthused, like they're very grateful to get some shoes and like makes you feel pretty good inside. I feel good to give back to the kids, to see the smile on their faces and just uh, see the excitement. <laughs> I think it's really nice to see um, we're so privileged at the University of Florida, especially as athletes by the UAA, and um, just coming here and you know seeing kids that don't come from um, such privileged backgrounds, and they have shoes that are in in shreds, and to be able to give them something that makes them so happy, something so small that we take for granted. We get shoes every year, we get jackets every year, um, something so small that makes them so happy. It's, it's really nice to see that. It truly is the season to be jolly and style. For Gator Zone, I'm Marshall Moyle. Thank you, Marshall. Again, great to see our student athletes giving back in the community and getting to surprise some youngsters with some brand new pairs of shoes. Gareth, luckily you said surprise because that's what our next feature is all about. A huge surprise for one of our women's basketball players, Corey Staples, did not get to see her brother for almost a year and a half, missed him over the holidays, but on December 30th, got a great surprise during the first quarter. Tied at five, official timeout on the floor with 4.35 to go in the first. Fans, direct your attention to the court as we welcome home a special Gator returning from military service overseas. Please welcome Interior Communications Electrician, Petty Officer First Class, Brandon Staples, brother of Redshirt Junior Corey Staples. Like, I saw a man coming in a uniform and I was like, wait, this looks like my brother. And immediately, like, if you, I, I don't know if you guys have any film of it, but I'm literally, my, my mouth is like dropped wide open. I'm like, is that Brandon? I was extremely excited. I had no idea what was going on. Um, just immediate flush of like emotions because I haven't seen him in so long. So it was incredible. A special yeah, surprise so for Corey during the holidays. Year, so you know he missed uh, a lot of pivotal things like Thanksgiving, my birthday, Christmas. Like I just haven't been able to see him more than anything I could have ever dreamt of. So it was incredible. To see him. Welcome home, Brandon. He's always been almost like a father figure. Um, he's been such a good role model for my other brother and I and so our relationship has always been very close but he's very wise and he kind of just gives us amazing advice um, he like flies us out to trips like he's just such an incredible person to be around and he's I'm so happy that I have him to look up to crazy that I was able to kind of just step away from basketball because in moments like that you kind of realize like life is bigger than basketball and sports and being able to see your loved ones is just so important and it just made me the happiest person so 
Well, Gareth, it was really awesome to be there that day, experience that with Corey and her family. And it was also really cool, a little shout out to Coach Cam Newbar for allowing that to happen in the middle of the game. So props to all of them, and it, it was a great experience for everyone. Well, speaking of coaches, Megan, I don't know if you realize, but we're over at tennis, so it's time to talk with one of our favorite coaches, Brian Shelton, after the break. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Hey everyone, and welcome back into Gator Zone. Gareth and I are hanging out in the indoor tennis practice facility where, Gareth, it's Florida, it's January, which means it's gorgeous outside, but we never get to come in here, so we thought we'd hang out for a bit. That weather's gonna be perfect all spring for the men's tennis team and the women's tennis team, but men's tennis team, seventh season for coach Brian Shelton. Hard to believe it's already year seven for him, and before the season gets going, Natalie Morrison got a chance to catch up with him. Head coach of the Florida men's tennis team, Brian Shelton, is excited for this upcoming season. With a squad constructed of mostly underclassmen, he is confident that their work ethic will lead to a successful season. I think uh, there's a lot of youthful exuberance, you know, um, but on the positive side, we have a lot of energy and, and these guys are willing to work hard to try to earn their spot on the team and also just develop their games. So I think that competition within is something that's making us get better at a faster rate. Uh, we certainly have the depth this year, which is going to be one of our strengths. And I know we'll have guys waiting and chomping at the bit and ready to produce when they get into the lineup. So these guys really get along well, even though they compete hard against one another. Um, it's playful at times and, and it's serious at times. And I think it's just a really good mix. Though Coach Shelton plays a big role in the success of his team, he doesn't take all of the credit. One of only three upperclassmen, senior McLean Kessler, has done an outstanding job setting the standard for the young group this year. His energy and hard work has helped the team develop as a unit. His attitude and the way that he embraces putting on these colors really kind of resonates throughout the whole team. And they understand what a privilege it is to play for the University of Florida. And he certainly has done a good job of leading the way as far as how we work each day. And he does it with the right attitude and the right energy, day in and day out. So for our young guys to be able to see that type of example every single day certainly helps us with our culture. Uh, we've got guys that, that love the game, that love working together, that value the, the education that they're getting here at the University of Florida and everything else that comes with it. I feel like we can put four teams together in doubles, not just three. So we're really, really equipped to do some special things this year. Um, it's just continuing to work on the little things that we can improve, things that we can control. Uh, we don't put any extra pressure on ourselves. We don't have to be perfect out there. That's the goal, to get ourselves physically in the type of shape that we need to be in to be able to make good choices out there on the court, but choices that give us the best chance to have sustained success. Regardless of the age, the Gators have the star power leadership and depth, which makes the possibilities for this season more intriguing. While Shelton wants to win, he also believes that the game should teach life lessons and help develop the athletes into young adults, as well as improving their tennis play. The number one thing that we want our guys to do is to grow and develop as people, ultimately become leaders. I love teaching tennis, but really being a part of these guys' lives at this stage in their life, it's pretty special, you know, and to see these guys mature and grow up and understand the little things matter. For us, if we learn how to do those things well, then we can handle bigger responsibilities because ultimately I want these guys to be productive in their communities. I want them to be successful in the workplace. I want them to become great husbands and great fathers and great leaders. And so that's what it's all about. And if we can win some championships along the way, that'd be great. <laughs> Shelton and the team are excited for this upcoming season and are confident that the combination of veterans and talented freshmen will create a perfect storm for Florida. For Gator Zone, I'm Natalie Morrison. Well, thanks so much to Brian Shelton and thanks so much for Natalie for that great piece. And we look forward to both tennises starting to pretty much just around the corner. And you guys can follow all the sports and see all the schedules at FloridaGators.com. Well, it's time for top plays on the other side of the break. And we're in tennis, so you think we'd be using those, but Inside this facility here, I found that. Okay. Found a couple of these okay. and one of these. So we got a special top plays for you on the other side of the break. Now it's time for the first top plays of 2019 and I think it's time to play a little catch. Megan, are you ready? Yeah, got my glove. That's the glove you brought for this? Yeah. 
All right, we'll go with a normal size ball. Oh man. Ah, I did catch it. Well, we're gonna give you some actual top plays from the real sports that are in action right now. Today's top plays are brought to you by Nike. Kasoglu curls left around a screen, dives inside, lobs it out, right wing Rainey, quick load up on a three, you bet for Daniel Rainey. Gator basketball towards our right, down by 14, Rainey left wing, spot up on a three, you bet, Daniel Rainey trills another three. And she's feeling it. The key Levy, pitch the free throw line for Smith, inside 10 to shoot, Smith threw it away. Interception from Nakasoglu, ahead for Johnson, slashing in from the left, scoops it up and in. 47-36, Nakasoglu top of the key, pitches left wing, Rainey jumps from three, you bet, right in front of her own bench, screams in celebration, Rainey has been red hot today. Gators left to right, far side of the floor, here's Kiki, Gators down by 12, six and a half for the fourth. Out of the right wing, Rainey arcs up a three, sticks another. Danielle Rainey keeping the Gators afloat. A career high, 16 points. Seven to play. Here's Washington, angles right, drives inside to the rim, banks it up and in with 1.2 to go. Delisha Washington has given Florida a two point lead. 58, 56. Allen wants it, he's covered. Shot clock at two, nice. Three ball goes to in the half. Yeah. He turned his back and just yeah. kind of rooted him out. Reversed by Nimhard, the freshman. He's got double figures. Straight drive, jam! Oh, wow. wow, Keontae Johnson. Offensive rebound wow, Another again. one. Wow, and another that's a quick three. shot. Wow. Allen got it. Nimhard, the freshman, had it blocked by a dude. And the loose ball belongs oh, to wow. Florida. Oh, wow. Point, 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 point. Basketball 101, never save the ball under your own basket. Megan, that was a great catch before uh, top plays there, but next time I want to play with this, so it's too late to add a bigger glove to your Christmas list, but it's birthday season for you, so put it on the birthday <laughs> list. <laughs> All right, Gareth, I'll see if I can add that. But guys, if you want to follow the Gators, it's so easee. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat all season long. Well, that'll do it for our first Gator Zone of 2019, and Jeff Cardozo will be back next time. But for this episode of Gator Zone, I'm Gareth Gutierrez, my partner, Megan Parler, and the wonderful camera work of Joe Prozek. We'll see you next time. <laughs>